like those cooler temperatures though from time to time, right, Rick? I like the rain because without the rain, no yeah. plants. No plants, no beautiful <laughs> flowers because it's all about how this process works. Joining us yes. right now, of course, is Rick Groslin, uh, scientist. We're so happy to have you in Thanks. here today. <laughs> we're so happy to have you. We're talking garden glove. Garden glove. Now, to get a garden glove, you need a seed. To get a seed, you need a flower. And so this is the part the kids hate the most, taking a flower apart. But flowers are amazing. They've only been around since about the Cretaceous. This is an evolutionary, a new thing. Spores and, and plants grew that way. But did you know that flowers have both male and female parts? I did know that. That's one thing I remembered, right, from science <laughs> class back in the day. <laughs> so these petals attract pollinators, and there's some ants crawling around here too. If you, you probably you can probably see them. And, All right, let me see. Let me get uh, in there. There's pollinators. There's birds. The wind. And so a flower needs to be fertilized. So if you, this is the male part, the anther. So if you take your amber, take your finger and touch the anther. Okay. And and then you'll get pollen on it and then touch oh, yeah. the pistil, which right there in the middle. There's the pistil, that thing sticking right in the middle. Top okay. right there. Oh, right here. Yeah, it's kind of sticky. Okay. And that's, that is pollinization. Now, that pollen is going to go all the way down to the bottom. And right in here, this bottom, this green part, that's the embryo. And that's where the seeds develop. Hmm. So all these other things fall off. The nectar and uh, the plant so the flower has done its job because now if we actually open up this lily you can take a hand lens and oh, see wow. the baby seeds in there so that's pretty interesting. amazing interesting <laughs> and so then you get a seed so once in, on this model I, uh, this is a cool model so let's pollinate this guy right here it will pollen off of the anther okay and right here on the pistol and the plant, plant flower goes ah thanks i needed that <laughs> it doesn't need its uh, petals anymore because the job is done. So pollinization wow. leads to fertilization, leads to seeds. And the seeds are what are amazing. Now, here's some seeds uh, that you probably have uh, in, in your kitchen. Okay. Uh, some pinto beans. But this seed is ready to go in the future. It's like these babies, when they grow, they can survive the winter because they have a seed coat on them. And they're ready to have food, yeah. and they have some really cool things I want to show you. So I made this last night. This is a model. I like using models in science. So hold this in your hand, Amber, okay. and hold it tight. Okay, hold and, it tight. And that's like a seed that's waited all winter in the ground. It's cold. It's dry. And then we're going to add some water to it. All right. And this is what happens to a seed. So add some water on it. Now slowly open it up and watch what happens. Just let go of it and see if anything happens. There you go. That inside of every seed are these embryo leaves called cotyledons. And you said that better than me. Cotyledon. Cotyledon. <laughs> Cotyledon. I don't know why. Why does it sound like a yodel to me? <laughs> I'm glad. I have a hard time saying it. But those are not true leaves. Those are like kickstarting photosynthesis. But That's inside, so inside of this bean, they're already there. And then, of course, you probably know what that is. It yeah. comes down. Okay. That's the root. So every seed comes like a kickstarter. Ready to go. Right, ready to go. And then yeah. we get to the glove. We get to the glove. So uh, you can make one of these at home and I think on our website. So you put a piece of cotton in there. All right, does it matter? The, oh, okay, so in any, each any one finger, of them. Okay. And that's the hard part. I usually break you know, half a piece of cotton. <laughs> I, my hands don't that's fit the in tricky This part, is great right? for kids. <laughs> and you get and add a little water. Okay. Because uh, seeds to germinate, which means to burst open. Germinate needs two things, heat and water. So heat and water. There you go. And then pick any seeds you have. Uh, any seeds that you There's have at home. a little water. These came right out of the kitchen, some lima beans. And let's, let's just open up this one. This is a sweet pea. Let's see, you know, what I like about science is let's test it. Okay. You know, now I, I, I put this in the window and, and take a look what's in there. <gasps> this is, what do you see? Uh, look what's happening yeah, right it's here. Yeah, starting. And that is called germination. Look at that. That is so interesting. That is, and that's just like from two days. So and, do this at home with the kids and yeah. just watch and see what happens. So what's interesting, the root is geotropic which means geo earth moves okay. down the leaf is is phototropic the sun goes up <laughs> so interesting right yeah. i feel like i'm going back to science class rick thank you so much <laughs> sure. and we got to wrap this up but where can we find more about you uh on my youtube channel uh, rick croslin science and then there goes